Welcome to center B. At this center, I can convert fractions into decimals, and I can convert decimals into fractions. It's easiest to start with the second one. I can convert decimals into fractions. Here's how easy it is. All you have to do is say the decimal out loud. Six tenths. Oh! Six tenths. I know what that looks like as a fraction. That's amazing. Six tenths looks like six tenths. Whoa! Now you try. Can you write this number as a fraction? That's right. It's three tenths. Whoa! Here's another one. Write this number as a decimal. That's right. It's seven tenths. Whoa! Awesome. So as long as our denominator is tenths or even hundredths, this is easy. All you have to do is say it out loud and then write what you said. But sometimes we aren't so lucky. Sometimes we get crazy denominator villains. Whoa! Like three fifths, five eighths, or four twentieths. These are tough because there's no obvious decimal place value for them. There's no eighths place value when I'm writing decimal numbers. There's only tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, and so on. It's all multiples of ten. We need a fraction that ends with one of these words when we say it. When I say five eighths, that doesn't end with one of these words. When I say six tenths, that does end with one of these words. So that's what we're going for. Something that ends with one of these words. Luckily, we've got Equivalent Fraction Man to the rescue! He has the power to crush a crazy denominator villain until it becomes a friendly decimal good guy. No problem. Here's an example. Three fifths. He's gonna crush it into a friendly decimal good guy. That ends in the word tenths when I say it out loud. Three fifths is how many tenths? Well, I need to multiply five by two to get to ten. So that means I need to multiply three by two on the top. Six tenths! Whoa! Awesome. No problem. Three fifths is the same as six tenths. If I have three fifths of a pizza, I have the same amount of pizza as Billy, who has six tenths of a pizza. No problem. Here's another example. Four twentieths. Terrifying. Except that we've got Crazy Fraction Man. And he's going to crush it into hundredths for us. How hard do I have to crush 20 to make it become 100? Hmm. I think I have to crush it five times. That means I have to crush four five times. And I get 20. This is 20 hundredths. 0 0.20. 20 hundredths. No problem. You try. Four fifths. Four fifths can be easily crushed into tenths. How many times do we have to crush fifths? Twice. So how many times do we have to crush the four? Twice. It turns into eight tenths, which we can easily write as a decimal. No problem at all. Here's the final twist. Eighths. Ugh. Let's memorize eighths. After we've memorized them and we know them, later we can worry about why they work and figure out how to understand them. For now, let's start by just memorizing them. 
1 eighth is 0 0.125. 2 eighths is 0 0.25, or a fourth. 3 eighths is 0 0.375. 4 eighths is 0 0.5, or 1 half. 5 eighths is 0 0.675, or 675 thousandths, if we say this correctly. 6 eighths is 75 hundredths. 7 eighths is 875 thousandths. And 8 eighths is one whole. Let's look at this whole list. What patterns do you notice? Pause your video. Maybe copy down the numbers if you need to to see them well. Think about what patterns you notice here. Now I'd like you to use those patterns and any other creative ideas that you have to come up with a song, a cartoon, or a rhyme that will help you memorize these numbers. Your assignment today is, one, create a song, rhyme, or cartoon to help you memorize the eighths. Two, share it with your teacher. You can write it down for me or you can perform it for me. Three, complete the practice page, and four, complete the online quiz. That will finish center B, where I can convert fractions into decimals, and I can convert decimals into fractions. Can you?